Racing's here for bbcolin.com. I'm at Eastside Gym again. Uh, come down to uh, interview some of the lads, but I've run into promoter Will, Will Stokes. Will, well, welcome to fight then, mate. Thanks for me, mate. Not a problem, mate. It's me, I, you know, I've been wanting to catch up with you for a while. Um, your, last, your last show, right, I've got to say, I really enjoyed it, but there was only four fights on. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, uh, what happened there? Because there was a lot more on, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, there was, there was, there was uh, an original date of July the 8th, um, but we couldn't get a few of our debutants licensing time, so we, you know, we moved it back to try and get everyone on. Uh, then with this, the moving that date back a few weeks, opponents started um, pulling out, picking up injuries, certain lads couldn't make it. Um, when we tried to change the opponents, then we were really struggling to get other opponents in. Him trying to fly some in from uh, abroad, okay. still struggled. Um, it was a big shame for Nicky Powell there. Nicky Powell's trained solid for like 12 weeks, he's been out to Marbella. His opponent then on the Thursday um, didn't get, um, wasn't licensed to box in Britain, so then we was, was scrambling to get him and he had to get let down. That was a shame. Um, Another lad, Aaron Laval, was actually he was he was ill all fight week. Oh, okay. Um, but he really wanted to fight. But, but as it come in, then it was just a battle with the scales because he was ill. He, you know, he 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 put I on weight. Yeah, he, he put in pretty heavy, but it wasn't due to being unprofessional. It was just you know, he was very oh, ill God. fight week, but just really wanted to fight. Well, that's good to know because yeah. the, the the actual. The rumour, yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah, talk, yeah, yeah. rumours was that like he'd, he'd come in like no, no, well, I, well heavy. No, no, I can tell you Aaron trains hard and he, and he really loves boxing. Um, yeah. He just picked up a virus fight week and as he knew that the fights were dropping down less and less, I think he was kind of, you know... Was, it, was he going to headline it then? Yeah, um, yeah, he would have headlined, yeah. Uh, he, so. Him or even Sean McGoldrick, so um, he was just literally fight week. He just, you know, I think he was just dosing up as much as possible. And uh, with it, you know, he put weight on. But um, but yeah, it's a shame for him. But you know, he, he's back training now straight away, oh, and um, he's ready to go for the next day. Well, <clears throat> let, let's talk about the, uh, the show. There was four fights on, Roy. Right? Uh, only one of them went the distance, yeah, and yeah. and it, I, I will say it wasn't for the want of the journeyman trying. Yeah, it, no, of course, it was not because oh, I think well, you had. The, um, the two, the two lads that they're not from Birmingham. Who was yeah, it? Yeah, Sean McGoldrick, who was from Wales. He he knocked the geezer down three times before the referee decided to stop it in the first round. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously there was, there was Anthony Manning and Sean Robinson from Birmingham. Yeah, oh, I, I felt I felt for Anthony because uh, he come out, he looked good, and maybe maybe he was a bit too relaxed. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think I think I think Anthony will be his biggest crit critic on this now, but. Definitely overconfident, too relaxed. Um, maybe thinking about a few more things outside of the ring than what should have been going on inside the ring. And um, yeah, it was pretty much just caught cold. And I think it's been a been a, been a wake up call to him. Yeah, well, I think that uh, journeyman's Christmas is all come up once because when he's sitting when he's sitting wobble, he he I just went went for broke. Well, it's, it's boxing at the end of the day, and, yeah. and the aim is to get your opponent out of there. If not, he might try and get you out of there, which I'm sure Anthony would have tried to do. Oh, so, definitely, yeah. Um, you know, he, he's boxing, and, and credit to his opponent, he, he saw his opportunity and took it. But and it's it's up to Anthony now how he comes back from that. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is true, and hopefully, like you know, what I mean, the, the way I've seen it, and I've talked about this with a, a couple of other boxers, like they, everyone thinks of this big old, yeah, boy. Like, that's just that's just a talisman talisman yeah, around your neck. When that's gone, right? And I must admit, when I come back as an unlicensed fighter, yeah. um, my first fight, I lost. Yeah. I don't think I lost, but I lost it, yeah. right? And from there on in, I went from strength to strength because I didn't have to worry about defending yeah, course, this yeah, this unbeaten record. Yeah, I mean, I mean there's, there's many fighters that can kind of get built up and up and up to maybe 10, 12 and and haven't fought anyone and haven't learned anything. But Very then, true. But then you can go and lose a tough fight and maybe learn something more that you did and never learn out of all of them. So, oh, most definitely, so, most definitely. So yeah, um, yeah, it's up to Anthony how he comes back. But that's it, like, um, I think Anthony, Anthony if, he, if he steps back, 
thinks about it and learns from what happened, I yeah. think he's going to come back a better boxer anyway. Definitely, 100% I agree. But the geezer I want to talk about, and he's the only geezer that had done four rounds, he's done, done his whole fight, was um, uh, Robinson. Yeah, Robo Robinson. Yeah. Robbie, Robo Robinson, uh, King standing lad, so from, just from up the road from me, right, which pricked my interest straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. And um, I must admit, I was really, really impressed. Yeah. Re seriously impressed. He had everything going for him. He's a big lad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cruiserweight. Yeah, light heavy. Light heavy. Light heavy, yeah. Okay. Um, was he fighting at Cruiserweight that, that night, wasn't he? No, uh, well, he did 12 stone 13 on the day. So I think he's, I think he's actually still ranked at light heavy. If he was to do, obviously, a day before uh, Wayne, he'd definitely do light heavyweight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because uh, I, I thought I heard Cruiserweight, but. Yeah. Either or either. Yeah. But um, when I seen him, I was, I was really, really impressed. This shot selection, everything yeah, yeah, was, yeah. was on point. Yeah. It's at a point where I run over to the corners to give I you remember. a card. I remember, yeah. So I, remember, I, I, remember. I want to talk to this geezer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which we will be doing very soon. 100%. But um, yeah, the one thing, well, when I thought he was a cruiserweight, the, the first thing I've seen, I know it was his debut fight, and I'm thinking um, many fights ahead, but like, as a, as a just me basically, being in a Birmingham aspect, yeah, yeah. Right, which is what I am, yeah. I, I don't really want to know about what's going on outside of Birmingham. Yeah, yeah, of just the Birmingham lads. Uh, I've seen Robinson versus Pitters, right? Shaka, yeah. from, from his side, Shaq yeah. and Pitters, like, not now, but. Oh, further down the line. Further down the line, oh, Midlands area. Oh, that'd be, that'd be brilliant. And, uh, and first of all, Shaq is what, what a lovely lad. Oh, don't oh, get me wrong, Shaq, Shaq's, Shaq's my boy. Shaq's, no, Shaq's my very good friend, I've known Shaq since he was probably 12 years old, he's, he's, a, he's a great lad. And um, whenever he's fighting, I'm I, I brought a ticket for his first fight out of, because he's my friend and I want, to, I want to support his career as much as anyone's. Yeah. Um, definitely with him and Sean, you know, they've done a bit of sparring together and, and Sean was just first starting his camp. And, um, you know, hopefully they're going to bring each other on in sparring first of all, and then sure enough down the line. Oh, the, 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 I'd say there's a, there's a fair few years and a fair few fights to go on yeah. before that, and there's a lot to happen. but. Oh, def definitely. I mean, oh, definitely, that'd be a great fight. That is definitely one. As soon as, soon as I seen him, and I seen him after the first round, I was going, him and Shakan, that yeah, would no. be. But obviously, nine, ten fights down the road. Yeah, you know what I mean? there's, there's a lot that's got to happen till then, but I'm sure um, when, when, it, when it does happen, first and foremost, they're both great lads, but both nice people. So it'll be an even better uh, atmosphere in there, because I'm sure everyone's going to want to oh, buy a ticket. I love everyone's to see all the King wanna... Standard lads up oh, Sally Hill. Oh, you know, listen, hey. that, that'll all be there. They'll all be there. Oh, I'm sure Shaq's uh, friends will all be there as well. So no, that'd be brilliant, that would. No, you're right. You're right. That, that will be a good fight. But yeah. like, let's, let's move on, because that was a good show. There's only four fights, yeah. and I've got to say, it, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Right. When is the next Matt and I show then? At, um... the, next, the next MTK show from us based in Birmingham here. Um, I think we're going to hold off a bit longer now and maybe do a big Christmas one. Okay. Um, maybe look for something to, you know, again, 10 or 12 fights. Um, oh, okay. We have, uh, look, lucky enough, we've got, we've worked well with John. So John's going to put a few of our lads on um, in uh, October and a few in November down at the villa. So the, the, they're always a great show. Yeah, yeah, Tommy so, Owens. Yeah, the Tommy Owens show. So. Um, uh, we're going to put a few of our lads on there, like uh, Aaron Laval, uh, Anthony Manning, I'm sure will be making his comeback there. Then we'll have uh, three lads from Coventry, which are Luke Beasley, Michael Green and David Seymour. So okay. there's two debutants in Beasley and Seymour, they're, they're real good prospects. Um, they're they're going to be on there making their debut there October the 28th. Um, other than that, we've got Joe Sheriff who's fighting on Eddie Earn's next gen show at the York Hall, September oh, yeah. the first. Brilliant. So he's fighting there. That'll be on that'll be on Sky Sports. That's in a, an English Night Eliminator, that is. Oh, okay. Against Jake Ball. That'd be a very good fight. And then going on from that, we've got Troy James who's fighting uh, October the sixth up on the uh, Box Nation show. Uh, Sam Kinnock from MTK Scotland. Uh, made a good fight there, great fight there, and a great show. Two, two British title uh, fights on that one, heavyweight and cruiserweight. Um, Jason Wellborn, you know, we've, we've after that great performance against Morrison, we just looked to try and uh, ease him into again another big TV fight, but you know, certain things didn't happen and quite worked for him, so we'll, uh, we didn't want to put him straight back onto kind of like a, a small pool show, go to yeah. say, but we wanted to kind of try and keep him as a TV fighter, which we are still going to do. But again, it's just trying to, Jason's at that point in his career now where 
it would probably be hard to get up for maybe a four rounder again. Yeah. So he's 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 got great credibility now in British boxing, Jason has. So the idea is now just to kind of match him, you know, uh, very clever, clever. He wants to obviously get as much publicity, try and get titles. And obviously what comes with it is the money. He want to, you know, he's at that point now where he doesn't want to be fighting for pennies. He wants well, this to be, is it, yeah. He's, he's 30 years old and, he, and he's, uh, he's, got, he's in the pro, he's prime now. He's a strong fighter, Jay. So, you know, we'll, we'll be looking just to get in big fights, really. Yeah. Uh, one guy I do want to ask you about is uh, James Beach. Yeah. Um, I've seen him a, uh, three, three times at yours. I think he's fought four times now, isn't he? No, I think he's going on to his fourth, so I think he, he's fought once at our place and... and uh, twice at our place and once over. Yeah, I've seen, uh, the, I've seen the two at, at um, the Grange, Grange yeah. and I've got to say, I was immensely impressed with him. I, I, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I have talked him up to a lot of people and yeah. I think he is one to watch. No, uh, he definitely is. What's, what's the plans with him? Well, he's, he's, he's again now fighting his uh, fighting over at the Warsaw Town Hall. Er Errol's uh, having us over there at Black Country. Black, Black Country Boxing. Black Country Boxing. They're, they're having him back on, which is nice of them. Um, He's going to be fighting his first six rounder. Okay, already. Um, yeah, already. So he's, um, a, a, as you know, with James, he's a he's, he's, a, he's a great prospect. Yeah, yeah definitely. And, um, he's, he's, he's good, good ticket seller as well. Great ticket seller. So it's always a good night out over there. Yeah. So that's that's that, that's James' next move. He's moving up to the six rounds now, and he and he, and he trains hard as well. Um, going on from that as well, there's Kieran Conway, who's over in Northampton. Yeah. He fights September the thirtieth um, in a show down there. Um, I'm trying to think who else, I don't want to miss anyone out. Uh, and then obviously we've got a few more signings that uh, are yet to make the debut, uh, debuts, they've just got to get licensed first, so there's, 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 there's plenty more to say. So well, is there anyone uh, else around the country that you use uh, um, backing? Yes, yeah, so, so obviously MTK on a whole, there's I think we've got about 120 fighters now, it's going really good, really strong. Um, so on, on our base here in Birmingham, I think uh, we've, we're just coming up to 20 now. Um, so we've had, we're lucky enough, we've had loads of support from obviously everyone in MTK has helped us along. Uh, John Pegg's helped us along down here massively. So we're just building a building. Um, there's, there's two more lads as well that haven't, haven't even pushed upon yet who are great prospects. There's Akeem Brown from Gloucester, who's okay. in, under, under our like, branch here in Birmingham. He's just won the English title against Glenn Foote. And he's only 21 years old. Really? In a 10 round fight away over in Sunderland, um, he went and, went and snatched the English title from him. And um, he, he's got a great future ahead of him now. So just, just planning his career now is, is going to be brilliant. And, and another lad, Jake O'Meara, who's down in, um, down in London. He's, he's, I think he's going to be fighting in his second fight again in October. So. Uh, even though we're MTK Birmingham, we've got lads kind of, you know, Gloucester, London, uh, Black Country, Northampton. I will, I will say, there's one, there's one lad, right, that I was at one of your shows, uh, I, I, I'm not sure how to say his last name, Cornelius, from South Africa. Cornelius that, Ramphala. That's yeah, your yeah, man. Yeah. Right, well, we used to know him as Con, right. right, and he was originally training at uh, Nana's gym, Bartley Green Amateurs, right, okay, yeah. when, he, when he was a kid. Oh, right, and okay. I used to, I was like, I used to take him on the pads and all that. Oh, so yeah, when yeah. I seen him make, well, it weren't his pro debut because he's been over in South Africa and Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I seen him boxing the professional ring, it was an absolute I remember, massive, I remember you saying. Massive night for me. from the amateurs, I remember. And uh, do you know what, he was, he was a brilliant boxer. Like, um, when I won my first unlicensed title, he was my only sparring. Was it? Yeah, and it weren't like a couple. Obviously, I'm a lot heavier than him. But well, I won't. Go, I won't going to say anything. But uh... <laughs> mate, I was catching shadows. Was you really? He, like I just wanted. I I had any sparring for it, but um, I went down a week before the, before his fight, and I was yeah. like, I was at now. I was in and just goes, well, go around with Con, just go easy. Yeah. I was like, at the end, I was trying with him because. It, well, I just yeah, couldn't no, even no, start no. chasing he's, 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 he's actually with Johnny Roy up at uh, MTK Manchester, so he's, I think he's there full time now. And um, yeah, jo Johnny, Johnny spends a lot of time with him and, and really, really thinks he's going to go far. Uh, so do you know I'm what? sure you found out first hand experience. Oh, you? brilliant. He, he, do you know what? I, I, I remember him from the amateurs and I remember watching him box. He, yeah. he was just. His movement was unbelievable, and seeing him do that in a professional light as well, yeah, yeah, exactly the same was, was, you know, it was like it warmed my heart, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, uh, I had a good chat with him after, but um, 
he'd be one. I, I'm not like you know, I'm not a promoter. Are you imagine another fight again. No, he'd be one to bring to bring down here more often because Definitely. you will get Definitely. you will get people. People remember him in Birmingham. All all of the Bartley Green lot. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. There's quite a few of them who come along. Yeah. To see that. Yeah, you know I mean. Yeah, definitely. So I'm, I'm sure we'll put our, our other shows now. Um, there'll be a good chance of him coming back down here, and even for the sparring and things as well. So I think I've been speaking to Johnny Roy. I think Johnny's going to bring him up on time. So. Oh no, I'm telling you, and he'll, he'll uh, I'll just look. Oh look, you know what? From from a kid that that kid has has grafted all his life, yeah. right? And he's he's put his hard work into his boxing, yeah. right? But it's just a natural talent because as soon as he got in there, he had all that movement and. Everything, you know yeah. what I mean? So I'd love to see him at an, another uh, Birmingham show. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's like a cool request from the column. Between me and you, yeah. It's a request from the column, so I'll, I'll see what I can do for you then. That's brilliant. Thanks, Everyone, mate. Will Stokes. Oh, uh, well, uh, catching up with uh, Will, Will Stokes down in uh, Eastside Gym today. A bit, uh, a bit fortunate. Uh, you know, um, he, he runs Mac the Knife, Birmingham. Um, they have their shows at Tudor Grange. The shows are bang on. I've uh, enjoyed every one I've been, been to. Uh, they've got some great boxers on their um, roster. James Beach being one. Uh, Robbo Robinson, uh, I seen last week. Uh, he looks pretty good as well. Like, and there's, there's, there's loads more that I could go on. Um, I'm going to try and get over to Tudor Grange uh, very soon and uh, have, a, have a chat with them lads because, uh, you know, I need to start spreading myself out or all that. But um, they're not having a show now until December, but I can't wait to that show and I can't wait to see what their lads do on uh, other shows and, uh, over the, uh, the next year.